Good morning, five people of the world. Man, we are moving and grooving early this morning. We got a lot of stuff to do. So I'm gonna pack the car and get all of my stuff in. And then we're gonna be out. Y'all got some good stuff in these boxes. Y'all might wanna see this. So guys, we're gonna drive out to my dad's house. I got a whole lot of stuff we need to work on and do. So I'll see you when we get there. Ooh, there y'all go. All right, guys, so like I was telling you before, working on the transmission today. And as you see, we got the transmission out. And here's the new transmission that's going in. Oh no, that's not it. That's the one that just came out. This is the one that's going in. So this is a new transmission we're about to put in right here. And also I know y'all was looking at this Chevelle. Everything here at the house is 5.3, literally. So here's Chevelle. This one actually will start right now, but a few things are taken off of the computer's not in, but this one already been started up before. So this one is almost done. The Chevelle, can't give y'all a cold start on this, but I got at least five more, five more five, three swaps here that I'm gonna show you here in just a second. and give y'all a few cold starts. So guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time on the channel, Go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and hit that post notification so you don't miss any videos. So now that we got that out of the way, we're about to put the transmission in. Just give me a second. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in right quick. Shouldn't take that long. So, and then after that, I'm gonna give y'all a cold start of all the nice cars here that have LS swaps in them. I mean, it's a lot of, lot of cars. You got a lot of LS swaps though. And just to give y'all an update, on what's going on so i know a lot of y'all were wondering what i had in the box so this is all the good little treats that i have it's going to be for my ls for the c for the c10 i don't know this is not it this is the that's my another car all right so i have already ordered my so what i have here is the good old motor mounts that i need it and I actually bought a whole gasket set that I also needed right here. I'm not gonna open it up right now. Use your imagination. This gasket, that's all it is. That's something that I need. Here is my motor. Yes, I know, it's taken apart. That's why I need a new gasket so I can put the heads back on, get this thing cleaned up, so to get ready to be put into the C10. Here go one of my heads. So here's one of my heads. Uh, these already have upgraded springs, retainers, all that good stuff. So here's one, I don't know where my other head go, but this is the one that's gonna go inside the motor. Two, so now my pops, he got a couple motors right here. I like how he did this one up that he's gonna put in the car. But basically this is what one of my motors gonna look like. I think this one, the 6.0, yeah, this 6.0 motor right here that he's gonna put in a C10, no, a S10. And then here's another 5.3. And I actually like the way how he painted it up. I mean, look how nice that is. Very nice aftermarket uh, manifolds. Um, he really did this one up really good. But yeah, this is it. These are the two right here. The motors for days, as you can see, another 6.0 right there. Another 5.3. So before I get started, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a cold start of the C10 that uh, got a 5.3 in it too. So, and it also has a cam. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that before I go ahead and attack to put this transmission in. Probably not gonna record none of this of putting the transmission in because it's gonna be pretty quickly. I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing done and then I'm gonna show you around and get the rest of the cars that got 5.3s in them. So you can actually hear, see what you like. I don't know, just let me know. Y'all hit me in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about them. So I'm gonna go do the C10 right now. As you can see, nicely done. Truck runs really good. Nice and simple install using the factory wiring harness and everything. The computer down here took really nicely. 
So this is how the install should look if you are getting your um, car done and getting a five LS motor put in. Need to look at somewhat neat like this. Um, also got upgraded brake booster um, or master cylinder right there. So you can have some stopping power. That's a lot of things that's uh, different when you are doing a motor swap, especially doing the LS on some of the cars, your brakes don't work no more because of the vacuum. So got one right there that came out of, I forgot what car this came out of or truck it came out of, but this is it. Clean setup of an LS. So like I said, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna show you one more. I'm gonna show you one more car. One more, then I gotta get to work. So this one is LS swapped as well. This one's almost complete. Finish up on the wire, wires, tidy up on it, and this thing will be ready to go. So that's it for the Malibu. Like no kidding, everything in my dad's driveway is LS swapped. And if it's not LS swap, it's gonna be LS swap. So this is what we do over here. We do a lot of LS swaps, uh, a lot of motor swaps, whatever, whatever you want, we can pretty much do it. We'll go ahead and hop on this real quick. I'm gonna be back in a few minutes. A few moments later. Okay, so since it's getting late on this, I wanna go ahead and go into the stable to show you two more LS swap cars. I'm very proud of my father. Man, he put this see, S10 together. Looks beautiful. Let's go in. He put this S10 together beautifully in a 71 Monte Carlo he had since I was a kid. And so this is how I pretty much learned all of my stuff through life is watching him. So basically he taught me a lot and I grew from that. So let's go check him out. We got the 71 Monte Carlo. It's getting ready, uh, be ready for paint. It just got back from being primer. And here is the S10. He fully redone this. Got some nice wheels on it. I'm gonna get a better shot of this later on. Uh, down the road, got an aftermarket hood on it. I mean, he actually put this thing together very nicely. So, let's get a cold start. So here it is, boys and girls, another successful uh, LS swap in here. And this one was actually was a challenge to get this motor in because everything is so tight in here. So uh, Justin had to cut part of the um, frame at the bottom to actually fit this motor in. But another successful job. Job well done. Brick props to my father on this thing. Looks amazing. <laughs> Yeah, boys, definitely like the cam that's in this one. She sounds great. There you go, she's a little dusty. This one was really cleaned up. And we still need to redo the wiring over here. So he's gonna redo the wiring, get all that situated again, but everything's still working on this. So the whole engine bay is dusty because of the body work that's been done on it. So this one will be getting put back together, back to like it was before all of this. So. There's another one for you. All right, so kind of got distracted. Now I got to get back up on this uh, Silverado. Uh, we still got the transmission sitting here, a lot closer than what it was, but I ended up doing other things. So now we're back over here. and gonna get ready to throw this back in. So should don't take a minute, I'm just gonna bolt it up and then that's gonna be pretty much it for today on this. And then we're gonna come back over here and work on the motor. All right, so the transmission is in. It's only about a few more bolts and the transmission support I need to put up in the drive shaft. And this thing is finished. All right, guys, so it's getting late on me. I'm effectively in today. If this is your first time visiting this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that post notification so you don't miss any videos. And like always, hit that like button and smash that subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.